Yes, it would appear as though the area of Catalonia has been the target of a coordinated terrorist attack, not just one, but two attacks. The latest, as you say, taking place in Cambrils. Now, it would appear, according to police reports uh, that have been issued in the last uh, few hours, uh, it would seem as though that this town, about 100 kilometers south of Barcelona, uh, that uh, there was this attack, there were several uh, injuries, uh, including that of a police officer, uh, but police, it would appear, managed to largely thwart this second attack, shooting dead four of the attackers, seriously uh, injuring the, uh, the fifth attacker as well. Uh, so it would appear as though that uh, that could have been uh, an altogether much more serious incident. As it turns out, uh, it seems as though casualties have been avoided. That, though, is not the case here uh, in Barcelona. Just around 100 yards or so away from here uh, is uh, the uh, uh, Plaza Catalunya, and it is that main square where Las Ramblas uh, is, and that is, of course, the key scene as to where this uh, attack took place earlier. Uh, and it was there where 13 people have been confirmed dead. Authorities say that the uh, death toll could still rise yet further. There are 100 uh, uh, others that are uh, being injured from this, 15 it seems seriously. So that death toll could rise yet further. And as you say, some arrests have been made. The police did make two arrests, but uh, uh, of course uh, not that of the driver. And that uh, will be the key focus, whether of course this second incident is involved, whether the driver is involved in that, of course that still remains to be seen uh, at this stage. Uh, a lot of speculation. This is a hugely developing story. This is where uh, Barcelona has really been shaken by this news uh, of these two twin attacks in Catalonia.